What's up, YouTube? This is Back in Cali. Uh, before I get to this episode of One Man's Opinion, I want to do a couple cheap little plugs for myself. Uh, I'll put all the links right up over here. Uh, first of all, I have a 500 sub contest running right now. I'm sitting, I believe, 302, 303. Um, the contest is going to be a free group break of Exquisite Baseball 07. Um, so I'll put the video up, check it out, get into the contest. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, also, I have three group breaks I'm trying to fill. The boxes are not in hand, which is why I'm having trouble filling them, because everybody wants to see the stuff in hand. Um, but I'll put those videos up in the description box with the links. Check those out. Um, like I said, they're not in hand, and that's the problem I'm having trying to fill, because they're not in hand. So check them out, because you, you see if you can help me out with these, see if we can't get them filled and uh, broken for you. So with all that being said, I was reading an article online a little while ago, and it gave me the idea for this episode of One Man's Opinion. I'm going to discuss Steven Strasberg and his advisor, Scott Boras. Um, the Scott Boras is ridiculous. He's a money-hungry bastard. There is no way in hell, there's no reason Strasberg should be paid whatever he's looking for, I believe it's six years at fifty million dollars for six years, that's a little over eight million a year. The kid has not even proven himself yet. Yeah, he's a great college pitcher. He did okay for the uh, Team USA. He pitched, what, two games? Great college pitcher, but you're facing college kids. You're not facing pros. You're not facing future Hall of Famers. Start your ass out in A-League and work your way up prove yourself before you want them to dump all this money into you so you can be some fly-by-night flop. Granted, you may be you may be really good in the majors. You might do well for yourself. But you haven't done anything to earn $50 million over six years. Go to A-League, prove yourself, move up to the double uh, A-League. Once you prove yourself there, you move up to triple A. Once you prove yourself there, then you make it to the show. Then we'll see how good you are when you're facing veterans and future Hall of Famers and guys that will rock you your first time out. Granted, like I said, you could be really good and blow all these guys away. Then you talk about contracts and renegotiations. But you don't go in asking for over $8 million a year, even though you have not even proven yourself yet. College guys, yeah, that's one thing. Sure, maybe a couple of those college guys you played against are going to be pros someday. Maybe not. USA, Team USA, you're facing people from other countries. Yeah, they're experienced players, but they're not major league ball players that have been around, who work their way through the system. Granted, you might, off of your college career, be able to get one or two million a year, but there's no way in hell you deserve eight million a year for not even proving yourself, not even getting a, as they say, a sip of the coffee, not even getting a drink of coffee in the majors. You haven't pitched for a major league organization. You haven't played against a major league player. There's just no reason to ask for that much money. And that's part of the problem with baseball now. Football and basketball are different because they don't have the minor leagues to work your way up, and teams get burned. They dump millions of dollars on these great phenoms and the phenom has a horrible season and is usually gone within two or three years. Now what happened? Now you're out all that money. Baseball, that's the whole reason for the farm system. You raise these players, you teach the players, you bring them up through your system and then when they've proven themselves, you throw them in the majors and let them prove, them, prove themselves in the major leagues. Like Strasburg, be in the minor leagues next year, work your way through the minors, and maybe you'll get called up late in the season as an ad, as a roster add-on so you can prove yourself in the majors. But it's ridiculous that you're going to want that much money just stepping right out of college. That's a joke, and Scott Boras is known for this crap. He's a money-hungry bastard, like I said. He should know better. He's risking... Well, he's not risking his reputation because his reputation's already not that great anyway. But he just wants the money. He's going off of college and international play. I don't buy it. You're not worth $50 million over six years. 
And if the Nationals sign that contract and you blow out your arm in the first year, they got what they deserved. They, there's no way they should sign that contract. May, like I said, maybe one to two million a year till you prove yourself, then you can renegotiate. Until you face somebody like Pujols or Manny or A-Rod or Jeter, you know, the future Hall of Famers, until you face them and know what you're up against, you don't deserve this money. Dude, take a, new, take a new look at it, write up a different offer, go from there. Start from scratch. That is one man's opinion. Thanks a lot, guys.